Hey, this is my uh, 225 gallon aquarium. It's currently holding, oh, I don't know, like 20 or 30 baby angelfish, one large one, um, about 12 Bosmani rainbows, a bunch of cardinal neon tetras, some six red cherry barbs, some thread fin rainbows, and some fork tail rainbows, um, or forcata rainbows. There's also a rainbow shark and some panda cories running around in here. And uh, it's fully planted. It's low tech. No CO2 at all. I dose it every once in a while with Excel. Uh, Flourish Excel. Uh, I've, got, I've tied some java moss to the rock still and I'm working on hopefully getting that attached to this driftwood. Um, and I got some Nozlot swords, some Anubius. Some Crips, Rotala Indica, Acrinum. And I don't remember the name of, of, of those plants. I'll have to look it up. Um, but there's a Madagascar lace plant here. It's got one new leaf. I gotta clean these other leaves up. It's a little dirty still. But uh, so Java fern, some three leaf Java fern. Oh, and there, there are, there's uh, two Epistogramma cockatooties. I believe that's how you say that. I don't know where they are right now. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, there's my boy right there. And here, here's another Epongeton. Um, but see, he's, he's hanging out. Oh, he's going to hang in there for a little bit. But... Yeah, um, I just want to take a video. This is the first video I've taken of this tank, so just kind of see the progress. Hopefully, in time, I'll get some, some, some more of these stem plants to grow up. There's some jungle valleys. This is giant jungle valley in the middle. Then I got some, some of the ones that corkscrew. Two little plants in the back. Hopefully, they'll fill in a little better. Um, and yeah, this guy's sweet right here and then I have a baby one a, a younger one that's growing out still um, they're the forcata rainbows or fork tail blue-eyed fork tail rainbows whatever you want to call them and yeah so this is this is what I got so far hopefully um, this will all work out I gotta still figure out how I want to hide that filtration because that's a it's a sump and it comes down into here where I have a, I converted a 20 gallon do it yourself, made my overflow, did the plumbing all, and uh, here's another tank with just some baby angelfish growing out still. Um, yeah. So I think it's pretty sweet. Um, I got a GoPro camera, so let's see, uh, let's see if this works. Let's go into the tank. There's my male.
spin rainbows right there. Got three of them. Here he is, he's a good look at him. Don't know where my female is. Ah, oh, I got some albino bristle nose. Black nose, there should be two. The other guy's right up there. Here's my female. These are two young male Bosmani rainbows that I got. Cause I got like eight of them, but they're split, and they're supposed to be paired. But I got a bunch of females. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. They did. I don't. I don't believe I have any males sleeping in there. But uh, so I bought two more males. Um, so there's twelve. It's it's four males and eight females is what I believe I got. Bosmani, and hopefully they'll they'll breed here in this tank. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm trying to get this Java moss to grow a little more on these plants, so they have somewhere to lay their egg, or on the on the driftwood, so they have some, somewhere to lay some eggs. Get it going. 